right, my friends, welcome back. December 29th, 2021, 208 p.m. And if this is verified to be true, we're looking at one of the biggest earthquakes to ever strike the state of Indiana. You're looking at a 6.1 earthquake, 479 kilometers in depth, or 298 miles deep. And I got to admit, this is a bit odd. I received a tweet that I was tagged in today with this exact message. Very large earthquake, December 29th, beginning today through 1-3-2021. I'm assuming they mean 2022. I get these a lot, but it just so happens that moments later, and very recently, we just had a 7.6 earthquake just north of Australia, downgraded to a 7.3 at a very deep depth, nearly 200 kilometers. And now just 24 minutes ago, we are getting reports of a 6.1 in Southern Indiana. I cannot tell you the last time I've seen an earthquake this big anywhere close close to the eastern part of the United States. And as of a few minutes after the posting of this quake, we are still at a 6.1 it's showing 479.7 kilometers. We're going to go ahead and type in the coordinates for this. I tried pulling them off the USGS, but USGS has not updated yet and is not showing this earthquake quite yet. And something interesting I want to point out very quick is we've had a strange pattern of earthquakes in the United States today. It's kind of like an arc pattern coming up from the northwest, kind of scooping down through Texas and then up towards the New Madrid fault line, which is where this apparent, and I say apparent because it's visibly here on the Volcano Discovery website as a 6.1 30 minutes ago now at about 480 kilometers, or like we said, 298 miles in depth. That could be why not a lot of people are feeling it. Now, while we wait for this to adjust here on the USGS, if it even does, let's talk about the 7.6 downgraded to a 7.3 over here just north of Australia. All right, I punched in the coordinates there, and we'll go ahead and travel directly to the epicenter of this quake, like we said, just north of Australia, and also just north of the Mau Island, which is right about here. We'll go ahead and zoom into this area, and you can see the epicenter is just off the coast of this little island right here very very deep earthquake and one thing we need to remember about that especially those of you that follow channels like dutch sense and those other amazing earthquake analysts when we have deep large earthquakes chances are you're going to see more shallow bigger earthquakes and this is a very prone area to monster earthquakes we know that because of indonesia and fiji out in this area we get the 8.0s out here pretty often connected to the big ring of fire all right and i'll bring any other updates about the australia quake but we have some more reports in now for the indiana earthquake earthquake and this is getting very interesting i'm going to scroll down to the user reports and check out the first one here it says no usgs data on this event if something happened it was very local event and most likely human induced activity no worldwide seismic stations have recorded this event now that's interesting because another user submitted one saying that they lost power shortly after the so-called earthquake on the map here whether or not this was a seismic event or something else being picked up by whatever volcano discovery uses as their sensors keep in mind many times we've had meteor sonic booms being reported as earthquakes on this site any sort of loud explosions can be confused for seismic activity so i'm very interested to see what they do with the adjustment of this or how they explain why this has shown up as a 6.1 earthquake and finally just to verify that one user statement there is no earthquake being reported by the usgs so right now i'm wondering why volcano discovery has a 6.1 listed for the state of indiana and also in a specific spot so whether this could have been some sort of meteor and explosion on the ground it's certainly going to raise a lot of questions for those people that follow earthquakes and we're definitely going to want some answers my friends with that said that's what i got for you for now i will keep you posted on any sort of updates about the united states earthquakes and this 7.6 downgraded to 7.3 just north of australia within the ring of fire and i have some other really cool exciting news i'm working on and i will be sharing with you guys in the next day or so and i gotta say 2022 is going to be a great year and i have some other and i hope you're all staying safe stay warm or cool depending on where you live and i'll be back shortly shout out to canada i appreciate you all thanks so much bye bye stop right there my friends if you have not already click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon click all and you will get all notifications from this channel and trust me you won't be disappointed